Hi star seeds. Welcome to the Aries reading for star seeds. I hope you are fantastic. Thank you for being here. So this will be for all Aries empaths, star seeds, intuitives. You may have a lot of water in your chart. Like I do. I have Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio in all my um masculines. <laughs> so uh you, so you could be highly intuitive and empathic. You feel what other people are feeling. All right, let's see what we have here for you, Aries star seeds. Seven of coin. Thinking about something that you've invested in or that you're about to invest in. Having patience, waiting for something to come through. An investment. Wow, this is so crazy. So let's read what it says here. It says, have patience, don't worry. Time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Okay, so you don't get there overnight with this kind of an energy. What we have going on is Queen of Wands energy. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home. So you can have a lot of energy right now. You could be doing a lot of things, putting yourself out there. Queen of the Fire. Now what we have is the Justice. Take your time, review details. You will win in the end, a fair and objective decision. There could be something to do with the courts, um, something being made fair. Uh, there could be anything legal going on. We have the Empress energy. So this is the energy of Venus Taurus, which is about really having a comfortable lifestyle. Um, it also is about love and having a lot of love to give and share with other people. There could be a mother or mother figure around you. Um, okay, again, we have two of pentacles. Um, juggling multiple priorities, multitasking. I saw it as cooperation cooperating with someone, possibly negotiating or compromising. Okay, what's coming into the future energies here? The Queen of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Time to listen to your heart, taking care of others. There could be a water sign around you as well. It could be someone who is on the level of you, because we have here Queen of Wands, Queen of Water. All right, could be a friend, family member, anyone who has water in their chart. You're compromising. Um, all right, wow, this is crazy. Your energy is Nine of Cups. Wishes that come true, dreams are fulfilled. So you're having some kind of emotional satisfaction and wish fulfillment. Something you've been hoping for, wishing for. Nine of Cups energy. Around you is a King of Wands, a financial windfall, unexpected supporters, fire sign leader. Could also be a divine counterpart. A good match for you. Um, maybe a business partner. It could be somebody who who's just a really good leader. They could be a masculine to your feminine. Um, doesn't mean you're feminine, but there is a lot of feminine energy. Two queens and an empress. The person around you comes in like a king, which means they come in taking action. Um, let's see. Wow, this is so craziness. We have here a three of coin. 
Follow your passion. To me, I see three of coin as teamwork, people working together, um, because possibly, you know, you couldn't get there on your own. You didn't get there without other people contributing. We have a Ten of Cups here, an emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends. Total emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. So the summer in this deck is the cup energy. The autumn is the earth. We don't have any air here. We have fire. And we have some earth. So we have a lot of happiness. A lot of emotions are going on. Um, probably, you know, if you're already a starseed empath, you have water in your chart, most likely. Um, and that's not every Aries. doesn't matter, though. I mean, you have water going on here. Ace of Wands, something very exciting. You do have some new sparks. Okay. We do have the Four of Wands. We have stability. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. A content personal life. Stable life. Um, happiness. Goals that have been achieved. We do have a King of Pentacles here. Um, everything is going your way. This is compassionate, charismatic. Usually it's about financial success as well. Okay, so bottom of the deck is a king of the water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. A king of the emotions. It could be a creative person, someone who's an artist. We do have a queen of pentacles here. The lovers, a choice. We have the judgment and the ace of cups. Something is coming back to life right here with the judgment and the ace of cups open your heart to love and then something here is happening for you on purpose it is um a renewal of your love life or it's a renewal of your life in general but there is something here about a comeback wow underneath Underneath, we have a Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Hangman. So something may have been stuck. You're following your intuition. Um, you get a message here, good news, something that is exciting. Three of Springs, Three of Wands. Um, have patience, more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. But you do have here what's coming up in your present energy is... Um, completion of this cycle ten of cups four of wands the ship arrives whatever it is you've been striving for it's here so you have this ace of cups and renewal underlying this is a comeback in some way where it's either a comeback in your love life it's a comeback in your career um if there is this person that comes towards you with the king of cups i feel they do mean well there are choices here that someone could be making. They could be choosing you. Um, you know, they could have a choice. They could. There could be something about a choice where somebody could choose someone and they're deciding to choose you. Okay, let's go ahead and use this deck again to get the starseed message. Arcturian light codes, re downloads, recalling your power, thinking about the future, thinking about building. Um, I'm going to change decks real fast. That deck is very good, but it's a little bit Orion.
Sorry guys about that. I'm really excited. There's a chance I'm moving closer to Sedona. So I'm really super excited about that. I'll have vortex energy all the time. <laughs> um, so let's see. Wow, star mother. How can you mother yourself? To me, it looks like Mother Mary. Okay. This King of Pentacles here. Star Mother. All right. It's under the line. Keepers of the Earth. Let's see. Show us one more for Aries Star Seeds. What do they need to see? The Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Help. There are helpers in the subtle realms. Your angels and your guides are watching over you. Your angels, guides, and ancestors are helping you get to where you want to be or need to be. It could be bringing you um, a love interest. It could be bringing you a partnership. Okay. Got like 10 at once, so I just want one. Show us here, Aries star seeds, please. Unbound. Oh, wow. Releasing a soul pattern contract and your past life energy. Um, you're just releasing things that aren't working for you. Things that don't support your your goals, your hopes, your dreams. You're just like letting it go. Saying, that's fine. I just don't need that. <laughs> I got share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution, feeling persecuted, needing to express yourself, possibly sing. Um, there could be something where you need to sing or you need to uh, speak, speak, sing, communicate, give talks, give lectures, uh, talk on YouTube, be, do, um, what are those things called? Uh, Podcasts. <laughs> Apple Podcast. I got boundaries. Where do you need to establish better brownie? Ba boundaries? I don't know why I said brownies. That's weird. Okay, boundaries. <laughs> okay, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Oh, bottom of the deck is transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. You're going through a deep healing process. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So I recently learned you don't have to look at negative triggers. You don't have to look at the bad things that trigger you. You can actually benefit more by looking at the positive things that you enjoy. So instead of putting that energy into thinking about your triggers, you would think about what brings me happiness and bliss? Where do I like to go? Where do I feel the most happy? Do that. It's like common sense, but like many of us don't know that. Like we just think about what we don't like, what triggers us, and then we go and do it again and again like a karmic cycle. So to get out of a karmic cycle, don't do the things you don't like. Focus on what makes you happy and do those things instead of the things that trigger you and make you feel unhappy. So Aries, this is your starseed read. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas Eve. Take care.